What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're actually going to be talking about the Smelly Sidebar Pack and the updated version that you can add to your worlds, realms, and servers. So, uh, as you can see on the side of my screen, uh, it has this little logo and it says something on the sidebar. Uh, you might have seen something like this before because it's kind of popular in the realm community. But um, I have made a revamp of it and made it more um, compatible and less errors. So basically, uh, you can say any title you want. So let's say title, add as title. Let's say, hey, this is smell of curve. So boom, you can say anything under sidebar. And it's very, very cool. So, but this isn't the basics of it. You kind of probably never going to use something like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use title raw. So basically what this can do is it can make really uh, it can make personal sidebars for any player in the game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do execute um, as add a, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do run um, tell raw, okay, and we're gonna do run tell raw at s, and what we're gonna do tell raw at s, and we're gonna do these brackets. Then we're going to do raw text. This is a simple raw text component. And then text. And then if we type something in here, and boom. It should say, oh, we got to do uh, title raw. My bad. Title raw. And we're going to do title. There we go. So now you can see it says something on the sidebar. You can see it's kind of small because you don't really want to have this small of a thing on your sidebar. So we're going to pump up the size a little bit and boom, now it looks good. And basically what you can do with this is now if we do like slash in, we can make multiple rows and you can display any data you want. So let's just try to make like a simple sidebar saying uh, your stats, stats. So basically it's going to say your stats, we're going to do that and we're going to do slash in. So that means go to a new line and we're going to say name and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new object and it basically uses the title the the raw text component so if you don't know this it's there's a lot of documentation anywhere you can find it but basically we're going to do this and we're going to do target and we're going to do add s and i might have spelled that wrong so we're going to do target and then we're going to do add s oh well we actually have to do selector so, oops, let me go back in here. We have to do selector. Okay, boom. And now you can see it says your stats and then smell a curry. So you can see I didn't type in smell a curry, but it automatically knew since I'm at S, it's going to be smell a curry. So the cool things you can do with this, though, is it allows for extreme levels of um, personal sidebars where you can display scoreboard data and you can display anything for a player personally instead of displaying the same thing to everyone so that's the really really cool part about it and um so what you can do with this is let's try to create a personal sidebar that displays a score so let's create a score so let's do dash scoreboard objectives add and let's just create a money scoreboard okay and we'll do dummy we'll do matter so we're just going to create money and we're going to give my give ourselves some money. So score players add add us money. Look at that. So we're just giving ourselves some money so we can actually see it on the sidebar. So as you, as you can see now, it doesn't say anything on the sidebar. But what we're going to do is we're going to add to our component. So I'm going to uh, put this in a notepad so you guys can actually see what I am doing. So here you go. Here's the notepad. And you can actually view the stuff I'm typing in here because it's probably hard to see on um, on that screen. So uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so you can see this is the command we're running. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit more. So you can see this command, execute at s, uh, run title raw. So basically we're typing this in. And now what we're going to do is we're going to type in a new, we're going to do text. We're going to do a new text object. And with this, oops. Okay, so we're going to do new text object, and let's say slash in, so we can go to a new line, and we're going to say your, or let's do money, so we'll do money like that, and I'm just going to copy and paste this over to here, you guys don't have to do that, so you can type it straight into the text box, but now you can see it says money on the sidebar, so how we can actually make it display our money 
is very, very cool. It requires us to use a score object. So basically, we're going to create a new object, and we're going to call this score. Then we're going to set the key, the, the value of this key, the score key, to a object with name, and we're going to say the selector is going to be add s, so it's selecting ourselves, and then we're going to specify the objective we want, so objective, we're going to select the objective, and we're going to use the money objective, the objective we just made. So this objective right here, what's, what you're going to put right here, is all dependent on uh, what this, you see how it said score objectives add, the, whatever objective you're using, that's the objective you're going to want to use. So we're going to copy that, and we're going to paste it right here, and boom, oh, I forgot to close the bracket. Okay, so we do need to add a extra, an extra bracket right here. My bad. Okay, and we're going to paste that back in. Oops. Okay, boom. So now you can see it says money, and it actually shows the money we have. So if we give ourselves some money, oops, we give ourselves some more money, and then we update this scoreboard. As you can see, it updates your uh, money, and it does it instantly, which is very, very cool. But the thing is, you probably don't want to have to run this in chat all the time. So what you're going to do is I'm going to copy this over. We're going to give myself a command block. Okay. And we're going to set it on repeat, always active. And you probably want to say a tick delay. This is very important. You want to have a tick delay because uh, you don't want this process to constantly run every, every tick or it's going to lag out your game a lot. So let's do a hundred tick delay. So that's every uh, five seconds, it's going to update this. So we're going to paste our command in here. And this, as you can see, this is the command we're running right now. So we're not going to use the notepad anymore because you can see it right here. Uh, but basically, execute at s, at a. So basically, it's executing as all players. And then it's going to run title raw uh, for uh, myself. And it's going to pull up the selector. And it's going to pull text money. And we're actually going to add a little space there so we can see that. Oops. Yeah, so we're going to add a little space. And then we're going to go out of this and go out of that. And there you can see it's going to update every five seconds. And so if we give ourselves some money, as you can see, five seconds should update with our new money. There we go. So our money has just been added to the sidebar. So it's very, very cool, and you can do so much more with this system. So basically, you can also add colors if you shall please. So I'm going to get the color code. So color Minecraft bedrock. I just need to find the color code. Uh, okay, so we're going to use this little symbol right here, and we're going to add some color to our scoreboard. So let's go over to money, and let's do – we're going to paste that little symbol, and we're going to do A. So that's going to highlight this and put it as A color. And then we're going to, let's make our name, let's make this like a, uh, a B color, okay? And then that should look better. So once this reloads, there you go. As you can see, your stats, name, smell the curry, and money. So obviously you can change this however you want. Um, and it's very, very customizable. Okay, so let's start and talk about how you can actually download this add-on and put it on your world. So basically... What you're going to do is you're going to go into the link in the description. Once you're in the link in the description, you are going to go into here. So it should look something like this. So once you go to the link in the description, you'll click on this, and it should say, like, smell sidebars. And what you're going to do is you're going to click the subscribe on YouTube. So this is verifying that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. And once you are, so you're going to click that, and it's going to pop up this. Okay. And it should pop up this, and it's a, you sure you want to subscribe to Smell of Curry. If you're already subscribed, it's just going to say an error. Uh, I can't subscribe to myself, so obviously can't do that. But uh, what we're going to do is once you're subscribed to Smell of Curry, you're going to click unlock this link. And it's going to take you to the link for Ty's page. And basically, you're going to click free access. And instantly, it's going to start your download right here. So it's going to give you an MC pack, but you might not want an MC pack. So basically what we're going to do is I'm going to rename this to .zip, and that is going to allow us to edit the content. So probably you don't want this logo where it says Binocraft Factions on your sidebar, which most people don't, which is fair. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit that. We're going to open this as .zip file. And then uh, actually we're going to extract it. So if you do have one more, that will probably help you, but you do want to extract the files. So we're going to extract the files out of the zip. And as you can see, it says smelly sidebar res. 
and we're going to open that we're going to open this again and it should you should see a list of details in here if you ever forget what you're doing there is a readme.md where you can check out everything i've list everything we do in this video but basically you're going to go to the textures and you're going to go to the ui file then you're going to go to the sidebar and as you can see this is the logo that pops up in the sidebar so if we ever wanted to change this we could go let's say edit with paint 3d and um, what we could do is we can delete all this whatever we can add anything to this file and we can paint some new stuff so smell uh, smelly is cool okay there you go so you can add whatever you want into here and basically you would save this file okay and now you have an updated logo and then what you can do is we're going to go back to downloads or wherever you extracted this folder to and we're gonna click on it and we're gonna click add to archive zip and we're instead of zip right here we're gonna do dot mc pack and basically we're gonna click OK and we're gonna double click this since I already have it installed I'm not gonna do it but once you double click this it's going to install it into your Minecraft and basically you can go right here you're gonna edit your uh, world and you're gonna apply the pack to your world so we're gonna click edit and we're gonna go to resource packs and there you go there you go so now it says smelly sidebar res and you're gonna apply it to your pack and then once you load up the world you're gonna copy the stuff we did in the beginning of this video and you will now have smelly sidebars active and in your world so if you did like this video make sure to like subscribe and comment what you think I should add in the next video uh, but that will be the end so I'll see y'all next one peace out